As part of this report, we tried to interview Noor Amaleki's family, her mother, brother, cousin, anyone who could tell us what she was like, the things that made her happy, her life's aspirations. No one would talk to us. Investigators tell us one way honor violence differs from other kinds of domestic violence is that the family often sides with the attacker, not his victim. In Peoria, Arizona, police claim that's what happened as they tried to capture Fala Amaleki, who had fled to Europe by way of Mexico. Fala spent two to three days in Nogales. He took a bus from Nogales to Hermosillo. He took a plane from Hermosillo to Mexico City. From Mexico City, he flew to London. And when they ran Almalecki's passport, they found an American warrant for his arrest. Within days, he was flying back to the U.S., accompanied by federal marshals. Almalecki landed in Atlanta. Peoria, Arizona police detectives Chris Bowie and his partner Jeff Balson were there waiting. They interrogated him in this room at the airport. Say your name, sir. Okay. This case wasn't a whodunit. My biggest interest was to find out why it happened. And to try and get Al Malecki to confess to purposely running down Noor and Amal. I think you're a man that's trying to do the right thing by your family and by your kids and by everything else, okay? I understand that. And what happens more often is that good people like yourself get into a situation and for a split second in their lives, they make a very bad decision. And I know this was not an accident. No, sir, trust me, I, I lost control. I will not believe you suddenly lose control of your car. No, you pointed your Jeep at both of them and you struck them. I lost control and I don't try to kill my boy. When we first started talking to him, he said it was just an accident. Um, we didn't believe him at all. And so Balson played good cop to Bowie's bad. What were you trying to do? Were you trying to scare them? Yes. Trust me, sir. I'm not trying to kill my daughter. If you weren't trying to kill her, were you trying to hit him? I tried to scare my daughter, and that's all. Why were you trying to scare your daughter? I, I saw her. I got mad, and I tried to go. She jumped in the front of me. You meant to hurt your daughter, right? That's correct. You tell me yes or no. Then Bowie raised the question of honor. I think that Noor has brought tremendous dishonor in your eyes to the family. This is a way to restore some of that honor, maybe. Is that what this was? I don't know. You told me you wanted to hurt her. You told me you meant to hit her. You tell me in your own words why you did that to her. He conceded that, yeah, maybe I tried to scare him. But then he conceded that, you know, he did mean to, to hit him. So, I mean, we moved from an accident to something that he intended to do. The interrogation, which would later play a big role in Al Malecki's trial, lasted for two hours. After it was over, Al Malecki waived extradition and was put on a plane to Phoenix. Meanwhile, Seham Almaleki was allowed to visit her daughter Noor with hospital security present. On November 2nd, 2009, doctors pronounced Noor clinically brain dead. With her mother's consent, Noor was pulled off life support. This call will be recorded and monitored. While in this Arizona jail, Fala Amaleki made a series of phone calls to his wife Seham. Husband and wife were told their conversations were being recorded. Even still, those tapes reinforced investigators' belief that they were dealing with an honor killing. No one hates his daughter, but honor is dear. And we have prying culture and we can't change it. And I didn't assault someone from the street. No. I tried to give her a chance, tried what you call it, with no results. You rushed it. You rushed it, Fela. Neither the mother nor the father thinks they did anything wrong to Nora Malaki. Did you bury her? We buried her today. Oh. 
She is comfortable now, while I am still in... Yes, you remain hanging. Yes, she is relaxed, but you're still hanging. They think Nur al-Maliki is better off uh, in paradise, uh, dispatched there by her father, uh, than living as an American woman. She did not take the right path. You couldn't bear it. I know you couldn't bear it. Nobody is like you. They also talked about Fala's legal defense. Who is this lawyer? What is his name? Where is he from? Is he Arab? No, not Arab. He is a Jew. A Jew? Yes. Check with Arabs as well. If there is a loophole in this subject, you know clans, tribalism, something like that. The Jews know of it. They're assimilated enough to understand that this is a legalistic society and that it's all about the loophole. See if there is a loophole or something. I hope we can say that you have, what do you call it, a psychological problem. No, I didn't tell them I have a psychological problem. Does it help? Yes, it helps a lot. Tell them I am tired than feel nervous. I am always suffering from this condition. Tell them I got tired in Iraq, okay? This will help a great deal, okay? At one point, Al Maleki, who came to the U.S. after seeking asylum, spoke as though he was America's political prisoner. I tell you, let them protest. As brothers all carry posters in front of consulate and write signs about Iraqis' honor and whatever, I don't know. And such signs like, I'm not a criminal. I didn't kill someone from the street. I didn't assault. I'm not a thief. I'm not... You now understand? Yes. And an Iraqi without honor is nothing. Yes. Do you think this was an honor killing? I don't think so. Mohammed al Sharkaway, you remember, is the former Arizona CARE chairman who met with Fala Amaleki's wife and son right after he ran his daughter down. I think he wanted to scare her because he was angry, because it's a moment of rage. El Sharkaway does concede that honor killings do occur in tribal cultures throughout the Islamic world. But he denies they're a big problem here in America. These are very isolated incidents that it, it happened now and then. It's like every other crime. So how does El Sharkaway explain all that talk about honor in those jailhouse phone calls between Mr. and Mrs. Amaleki? I think they thought if they go with honor killing that might get out of jail like they do back home. So they thought the courts would be easier on them because of the culture from another part of the world? Yes. We have seen some of the places that they will be more linear if, uh, if it is an honor killing or something like that. But that, that's quite stunning in itself to think that somebody in America could think they could get a lighter sentence because they labeled it an honor killing. People do stupid things every day. But what would a jury think? A question of honor continues after the break.